Hello, hello, uh, welcome back. Ragnarok here with episode 136 of my Mortar Empires High Elves campaign. Alright, so we'll pick it up right here from last time. Poor Anarok grossly underestimated our enemies here, and they were able to take a very valuable settlement from us. So we need to get back down there and deal with them, and we also need to get rid of these guys. And we need to get to the Eagle Gate sooner than later as well. So we can take that for ourselves. And, and, and that way we'll have plenty of recruitment areas. Would like to send Valen up here to raise the Shrine of Pain. However, we don't have time for that, that right now. Since these guys are on the way, we're going to hit them anyway. Let's see if we can pick up some influence here. Good job, my man. Hidden's been doing, doing well. Gaining influence. Uh, we're gonna give you assassinate just in case we need you to come over here and get rid of some of these guys because our worse. lands are starting to crawl with enemy agents. We just uh, we've been unable to get rid of enemy armies as quickly as or more quickly than they they can field them. They seem to be able to sprout them up more quickly once. We get the jungle under control then that'll free up some more armies but getting public order sorted down there is going to be somewhat of a long-term project and, and finishing off class clan pestilence is going to take a little bit more time as well but we are positioned to to get all that sort of stuff done so we'll just continue working down there and fight the battles that we can Back here. I'm just going to back up from these guys a little bit since we've got nice open terrain here. We've got a little tiny bit of a high ground. We'll wrap ourselves around this uh, this hill a little bit here. Let our artillery do some work here. Let our archers do a lot of the work as well. Put on that side. Loyal. Here. Stay out here. Just go with a nice defensive formation here. Guys on fire will. Understood. Archers. I really love, love this army composition. It's prepared for for almost any situation. Most situations it can deal with. Try and focus on to yield a little bit. We have our reserves. Not again. Not a lot of reserves. Are they moving ever so slowly? They are moving, but they are moving. They're in reavers. This is actually a high elf army. I, I was thinking they were dark elves, but they're actually high elves that live in the desolate train. But I, I, they're high elves that are allied with the dark elves, I believe. For duty. Very. I should probably have you over here. I just don't like having the dragon stand out in front of the archers before the archers and the Pultoras start shooting. But anyway, if he wants to get some healing, he's got to come over here. Makes more sense to heal both of them at the same time.
Let's move them a little bit. Yeah, these spearmen are... If our Phoenix Guard don't cut through them, I, I'm going to be very disappointed in the Phoenix Guard. Pop one more heal on Balin, and we'll actually send Balin out there to get to work. Where's their enemy lord? Latanya? Is that her name? It will be done. It shall Let's be done. shoot them down. Prince of Ulf One. Let's pop this. Take her down and maybe we can Yep. Attack! Now! That bow is not gonna help you a whole lot against against a uh, star dragon. Do it on a star dragon. Uh, let's just pull it this way a little bit. Facing a lot of pressure on this flank here. Shoot them. Let's turn around. Get some shots in on them. And you guys actually... Uh, you just take these guys on a little bit of a run around. Let's shoot them. How's Valen doing over here? Good. Might want to get out of there just because these spears are going to have have the eagle claw shoot over that way, and you guys, actually over here, I guess. It's an archer. Yeah, tell me they're gonna break before they get in there. Let's back up a little bit. Have them deal with them. Get over here. Boat. Alan, you can get in the air. This is not a bad spot to get a breath attack in. Find the Phoenix Guard back up again. Go. I haven't even used the Dragon Princess here. Yeah, I mean, didn't really need to. Probably could have done that with a little bit less casualties, but whatever. It's a pretty weak army for us to face against. Heal. Got to heal him there at the end of the episode, or at the end of the battle. Oh well. All right, so Litania is defeated. I mean, maybe we can actually get on good terms with these guys and potentially confederate. Damn it! You know what I forgot to do is check the diplomacy with the Order Princes last turn. I think. I think I forgot. I know I forgot last episode. I'm just not sure if I checked the episode previous. I don't think so. Take the replenishment. Because Valen is needed elsewhere desperately. Alright, so... Need to, uh, to really boogie here. Hmm... I wonder if we should go around this way and push through here, or no, we're, we're going to move this way. No, stay on the road here, down to Tor Anrock. Got a black arc out there too. Should get replenishment here, and even though it's our, yeah, it's our allied territory, so we'll get replenishment there. And then this army can come around this way and sort out the dwarves who have, no, they haven't taken the eel gate, have they? Maybe they have. Yep. Ruined Fortress Gate and Dwarves are in it. Yes. Oh, I guess they have to build it up. It looks like I, I think they've settled it actually. That's fine. I'm wondering if we should 
it's available for the mages. I uh, can't really spend money right now. All right, let's get rid of this army now. This is going to be a tough fight. Well, if they stand and fight with our garrison forces, that would be really nice of them. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we'll just get a... Put this army in a defensive formation. And then try and do the attack with these guys. Depending on where everybody shows up, it may be easier said than done. The Kadai um, watch over us. But we'll want to try and destroy this army completely here. So we don't have to look at them again. Alright, so this is a good defensive spot here. They don't have any artillery, so they should still come at us. Just wondering where our reinforcements are going to come in. Alright, seems like it's an and going to come in over here. Alright, that's cool. We can sweep in through here and we'll take this lovely around here. Understood. All right, let's... Now, we fought a battle against Varg on this terrain not so long ago. Kali did not do a great job of it, if I recall correctly. Let's get four of them up there. Then, yeah, we just want to fight defensively with, with this group, and then we will do most of the most of the attacking with the the sea guard and the garrison troops when they show up. Right here, just in case we get flanked. Just go completely new box here, basically. And then we'll have you as reserve thrown on this side or this side, whichever side needs needs more help. As you say. Not there. But yeah, I think we should be very very safe here like this. Should be able to deal quite a bit of damage to them. Oops, forgot to move too. Let's have you come back this way. Oh, and I forgot to move you as well. Oops. Also forgot to group these. Damn it. Just rushing things here. I'm just gonna group them. The rest of Understood. Start grouping these guys. As you say. Lothen Seaguard. Acknowledge. Lothen Seaguard. Silver Helms. White Lions. At once. Exactly. Noble. These two guys are. Here. Birds without fail. Put you guys up on this hill. That would be Master, ideal. Move. White lions. White lions, see if you guys can get to those cold ones. Actually, the silver helms, you can, you can help out there as well. Alright, so hopefully this defensive position will hold until, until we get our reinforcements 
over here. Alright, yeah, we got these guys back into the... Yeah, this is a beautiful uh, fortified hill here. You guys can shoot them, please. Good night. White lions. Should keep moving. The white lions to take on the executioners because you guys would be a lot more helpful shooting these guys. Alright, you're gonna have to get over here and vote these hydras. I should have been maybe shooting the Hydras. This is not good. You guys get over here and help out too. Archers, back up a little bit. Let's see if we can get some shots in. Me. Alright, you're gonna have to take on that Hydra by yourself. Fuck me. Seaguard, the fuck over here. Assyrian guides us. And the rest of you get over here too. Where are these silver homes? Maybe they can get over here to help out. Oh man, our army is gonna be in rough shape after this. Down there. Oh. What are we doing over here? Holding this off, but uh, that's perfect. Guys, this. Should change your angle a little bit. Alright, All right, they're running on this side. Need to get over here and help out. It's under a lot of pressure over here. I think we're gonna be okay here. Let's get these Sea Guard in behind it. As long as the Sword Masters can hold for a little while here, we should be okay. Doing a lot of damage. Some of these units. Oh, for fuck's sake. We need to get in the fight. Down there and help out. And guys, get over here. Just Silver Helms. Alright, yeah. Ooh. Try and run some of these things down. Shoot that. This army this is going to require another battle here. Take these things. Finish these things off. Or to finish this army off. We did manage to kill a lot of them, I think. Catch up to them. Yeah. Attack! I concur. You can shoot it. I am ready. It would be nice to get rid of that Hydra before the next battle. Probably getting a little bit of friendly fire here as well. Just want to get this last Hydra down. There. I don't think you can catch it. Just got a tiny bit of health left. The thing is, I think it heals. No. If we don't win this. Or if we don't kill it. What are you waiting for? Where are we going to get over here? Come on! There we go! Whew. Just in the nick of time. Good stuff. Alright.
a little bit of punishment, but nothing, nothing too severe. Luckily, we had a very strong defensive position there. Would have been nice if we could have got the garrison a little bit closer, a little bit quicker, but it's fine. Meaning 200, so that's not too bad. Might even be able to follow up with an auto resolve. Victory for the Azure! Hold the captives. I'm gonna go replenishment again, even though that's a lot. Of... We have no need for prisoners. Um. All right, this is going to hurt our replenishment, but I, I am going to take it because that's oh, kind of low on funds presently. Damn it to hell, she's out of range. She's going to park her in there because I want to get replenishment or extra replenishment, especially since we're a worthy ally. Replenishment's going to be a little bit lower. Um, what do I want to do here? This guy. Public order wouldn't be bad. I think we'll go, we'll just finish off Spirit Leech and then maybe continue with some of this stuff. Actually, let's go hard to hit. And then that way we can go Foe Seeker next time, I think. All right, so we, we need to track them down and finish them off. Never. That freed up a little bit more income for us. I hear the good day. Ooh, you know what? Before I forget, let's pop this right. Help it with public order, more influence, and construction costs as well. Just try and hit that right every time we can, whenever it's available. Phoenix King. Princess of Althran. Just wondering if we should just grab an extra Phoenix Guard for now. Or we could grab another bolt thrower. And, and transfer it over to the Balance Army. We'll decide that next turn what we're gonna Prince do there. He's gotta get down this way. And these guys are mustering. That's not good. We might actually have to swing back in here and get these two armies linked up together. That that's probably actually the better option, just overwhelm these forces with force and then make our way over here to help our allies out. With at least one of the armies. Maybe we'll send Valen and, and we'll keep this guy. Keep Valkyrie. It's Gal, actually. As Garrison. Alright, so the dwarves have, have given up on the shores here. However, we've got a Skaven army down here that could cause problems. Oxmar. I guess we'll go play. Oh. I don't know how much. Where's the count? Income from settlements plus 10%. Okay, so yeah, we'll definitely, definitely go with the clay pit. Even though potentially lose this settlement with this army in the area. It's like my, my siege defense capabilities are not what I thought they were. And motherfucker. I don't know if they're going to be in range if they're not in force march, but the awakening does not yet have defenses. Which is obviously bad. Defender of the Phoenix Throne. Ah, damn it. And this guy is... Damn it, damn it, damn it. I don't like this. This guy just slipped past our allies here. 
It's not a very good garrison either. Well, let's just do some building down here for now. Let's level up. This. I don't have cash here yet. Cash. This will help with untainted. Does it help with untainted in adjacent provinces? That'll be helpful, I guess. Although there's not a lot of adjacent provinces here. And what is the final building we want to put here? Either an embassy or In Elven Gardens, I think. Infantry plus five percent faction pride. Come from Portsmouth, or region, this province. I think we'll go with an embassy here. I think that makes sense more, more so than the Elven Court. Because we've got two ports here, and this port. Yeah. Plus 10%, this port is gonna. Yeah, so 80 plus 40, 120 from the ports, plus the plus 5% trade faction wide will help out a little bit. Your decree. All right. Maybe a little bit of trouble here. Of the Ever Queen. Let's keep Herond moving up this way, see what we've got up here. I couldn't agree more. Not gonna be able to reach that this turn. Princess of the Azure. Oh, son of a bitch, I thought she would be able to reach here. Awaiting order. Things like this this going. Let's get that built up as well. This army we haven't gotten rid of yet. A little bit frustrating. Wait, what are we gonna give you? I don't like the high mage's abilities really. This might actually be pretty good. Try and get that. Maybe do some damage. With that, we we are gonna get her into an army at some point. What are we doing for hand points right? 37. Mm. Protector of the Ever Queen. Following your order. Tarion can reach the settlement. And then we could bring this army in on Force March. Your orders? I think it would be better to attack with this army. That's the, that's the problem. Plus, we're, we're, we're causing We're getting so far into the jungle with these two armies that obviously we're exposed over here. And no one in sight to be able to actually help out there. Star Tower. Yeah, we, we cannot afford to lose the Awakening. Speak. I need to get rid of this no first, though, too. Garrison's actually not too bad here. I should be able to hold out against this arm. No, the, other, the other problem is we can't afford to have this army in the field presently, and just wanted to have him here as a garrison force, so... There's all kinds of fucking pain here. All right, what I am gonna do, I'm I'm gonna start the siege here, and I think I'm gonna end the episode. What are how are we doing for time? Yeah, we're right at the half an hour mark. And it says balance of power is even. I mean, we could potentially win this with Tyrion's army, but withdraw. Attack! Hmm. 
I might, I might risk fighting this battle because we fought down here. Fought, wait, no, it was here at Ox Oxo. This was a level five settlement, but this is a bigger garrison. I, I feel like when we took this one down here with Tyrion's army, that the force was smaller. However, we do have a mage. I, I think I will attempt this with Tyrion. I think Tyrion can take that on his own. What we'll do is we'll we'll use the dragons to do damage to them queen. initially and just see how it goes. Mm. Although, I don't know, we have nothing to take down the towers. No so we could end up taking a lot of damage from the towers if we just try and sit back. Because I... I feel like we're going to need this army back this way, though. Might be better just to keep on the move and keep taking out Skaven settlements and, and not worry about losing these settlements for the time being. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna sit and think about this situation, what we're going to do here in the jungle, but we really want to keep weeding out the, these forces here. This army is definitely going to be a problem. And obviously got to get the economy back under control. Yeah, lots to do. Lots to do here next episode. So, thanks for watching again, guys. I know this is this is campaign is probably very painful to watch sometimes. It's a bit of a struggle, but, you know, legendary difficulty. What can you do? And, you know, got someone who's relatively new to the Warhammer Warhammer world. So, anyway, we'll see if we can keep trucking through and see if we can figure out a way out of this this mess that we, we keep ending up in. Right, yeah, episode 137 I think is next. So hope to see you then. Have a great day guys. This is Ragnarok saying goodbye.